Hi everyone and welcome to Growing in the Cove. Um, thank you for everyone who followed me. I think most people came here from my personal account. Uh, my goal was to get 100 followers and I'm almost there already so that's pretty exciting because I feel like I'm pretty small scale as it is. Anyway, I just wanted to say we made it. We made it through 2020. We're now into 2021. Uh, I know a lot of people have had a lot of loss this year. Things have been very different. They haven't been normal. Um, here in Newfoundland, I think we were pretty lucky because the pandemic uh, didn't really reach us in the, in the same way that it did in other places around the world. Um, so anyway, I just hope that everyone had a safe, happy, healthy holiday. And uh, my heart also goes out there to people who couldn't go home or see their family for the holidays. I m couldn't see my sister for the holidays, so that's sad, but it's going to get better from here. I know it. Uh, so I'm here today because I just wanted to show you a few, really just a few things that I got for Christmas that are gardening related and I just thought I would recommend them if you are looking to treat yourself to something, even though I know we've all probably uh, spent a lot of money at Christmas, but if you have gift cards or that kind of thing. Uh, first off, I got the thing I wanted the most. I got the Felco pruners. Um, these are like the cream of the crop. I've wanted a pair uh, since last year. A bunch of YouTubers that I watch that are gardeners have these and I just wanted a pair so bad. So these are um, I think a universal size. You can actually adjust how wide the grip is. So I might actually have to make mine a little bit smaller for my hand size, but it's cool because every single part on these pruners is replaceable. So I will have these literally forever. I'm gonna take really good care of them and they are like ultra sharp. So I actually have to be really careful because in comparison to my old pruners, these literally can't cut through anything. Uh, these are like very, very, very sharp. So I have my little belt holster so I can wear it around the yard and have it on me at all times, which I think is such a cute idea. Uh, these came from Lee Valley. Uh, I think that's where Nick ordered them, but I did see them locally down at Gaze and we purchased a pair down there for my mother-in-law. So if you are looking to treat yourself this year, I highly recommend these. I, I just can't wait to cut something with them. Um, I got a new book from my sister. I asked for this book. I was on the pre-order list. This is from garden god Nikki Jabor, who lives in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and she grows things like 365 days a year and really pushes the limit of the Canadian climate. Um, and this book specifically is about growing under like um, hoop houses, tunnels, using insect netting, um, basically things you can do to protect your crops. So I actually think this is really helpful because growing beautiful things is all fine and dandy, but you also have to deal with mother nature and what she throws at you. So this is a really good book to look at season extending, different insects, pests, bugs, all that kind of thing. So very informative book. I was flipping through it last night and there's just so much information. She's seriously brilliant. So uh, Growing Undercover. This is the same author who wrote The Year Round Vegetable Garden uh, Gardener, which is like one of the best sellers, uh, which I also have and has been a huge inspiration for me. So that's that. Um, I just wanted to point out, I got this beautiful botanical print. Um, this is by a local artist, Stephanie Gallant. I believe that's how you say her name. This is the blue flag iris picture. So Nick got this for me. I'm definitely going to put it in the living room. I already have two pictures in here um, in my dining room. I have the hellebore and the pitcher plant and they're also beautiful. I just love flowers. So I cannot wait. So if you aren't aware, the blue flag iris is the 
uh, wild iris that we have growing here in Newfoundland. And last but not least, this is a great cookbook. Like look at the artwork on this. Um, I saw this recommended by Sarah from the account um, Grace and Jack. She's also a Newfoundlander and she does a lot of cooking and gardening and that kind of thing. And I saw this book recommended by her a few months ago and asked for it for Christmas. This is Farm to Chef by Lynn Crawford. She's a Canadian chef. And basically this whole book is about cooking with what's in season. So if you are a gardener and you are growing things, uh, like in the springtime, you would probably have, I don't know, like spring onions and spinach and those kind of things, radishes and stuff. Then she shows you recipes that you can use based on those recipes or uh, based on what you have in season. Um, like the photography in here is absolutely beautiful. I mean, like, look at that. And I mean, like, look at these carrots. They, I think that's one of my favorite pictures is these carrots. So anyway, it's a beautiful book. It's a really nice coffee table book. Um, it's hardcover. It's like, it speaks for itself and it has a lot of good recipes in here. I've actually already made two recipes out of here beforehand that someone gave to me and they were fantastic and the cocktails look great. Um, so anyway, that's just another recommendation. So garden plans for this year are as follows. I'm going to expand our vegetable garden, uh, pretty much double it in size for growing real estate. So we're gonna add in some more raised beds and we're also gonna put another raised bed inside our greenhouse uh, because I really wanna maximize the amount of things I can grow in my greenhouse. That was a big investment last year and I'm very happy to have it, but I definitely want to take advantage of, you know, as much of the room in there as possible. And I also have another project I want to do and I really wanna get into cut flower gardening. Um, I've been really inspired by um, Floret Farms. Uh, there's a few flower farmers that I have been watching. Um, now I don't want to go into flower farming on a big scale, but I would like to dabble with growing my own cut flower garden this summer, making some bouquets and kind of getting into flower arranging and challenging myself to grow what I use. Uh, so I'm really inspired about that. And I have been watching a lot of content on that. The, the, I think the hardest thing is showing restraint because I just wanna grow everything. And looking at seed uh, catalogs and websites, like I could just buy everything. So, you know, like Nick said, they're not like Pokemon. You don't have to catch them all. And I just need to pick what I want to grow and stick with that. I don't want to overwhelm myself, but I do have a few seed orders coming in the mail. So I will definitely open those on here and kind of tell you what I have. Another project I'm going to be trying soon is winter sewing. Um, so I'm definitely going to do some videos on that. Um, but otherwise, I'm just so excited for growing season 2021, I think it's gonna be a really good year. A lot of people got into gardening because of the pandemic last year, and I think it has hopefully started a, a lifelong hobby and love for some people. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to come on here and say Happy New Year, check in to see how you're all doing, and if you're all missing uh, the garden like I am. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Happy growing, friends. Bye.